Okay, welcome again. Let's discuss some DHCP. Uh, as you know, DHCP is a protocol that automates the assignment of IP address. So if you have large number of uh, IPCs or network nodes, you can use a DHCP to provide automatic IP address to those devices. So in Huawei, there is two modes that you can use to configure DHCP. There is uh, global mode or, or in global mode we configure the DHCP configuration on the system view and uh, we associate those uh, configurations to a specific uh, interface actually that interface maybe that is connected to a certain host so that it can be prov uh, so, so that it can provide IP address but the another mode that we can use is called the interface mode so the interface mode all configuration all DHCP configurations are configured on the interface on a specific interface so in an interface mode only those hosts that are connected to that interface will be provided with IP address so compared to DHCP global mode that means we configure uh, a DHCP configurations on the system view and then we associate those configurations to all interface maybe two or three interfaces that we need maybe uh, to be uh, to provide the IP address to, to the to the client so if we if we are uh, we based on interface mode, that means the configurations will be based on a single interface, and th that interface will be as a DHCP server to provide the IP address to the client. So, for the case of this uh, example here, we have two PC connected uh, with hub, and this hub is connected directly to DHCP server router uh, to port number giga zero 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 zero. So, uh, what is a hub hub it is there for extending this network so that it can increase the number of ports uh, it is actually like it's like a, uh, a connector a single a single wire so in here that means PC1 and PC2 uh, they need to, to get IP address from the HP server from this interface so one of the options that we can use it is to configure the HP in a global mode in which um, in, in that mode we are, we, are, we, are, we are required to create a, a DHCP configurations or, or DHCP pool on the system view and then associate that pool to the to the interface but for the case of the DHCP interface mode we are going to that interface we enable DHCP and uh, configure all other configuration relating to DHCP so for the case of this now uh, we, we we have pre-request site or before configuring DHCP we need you need to have some materials that will help you to accomplish your work uh, correctly. So one of the requirements uh, we have network of which network in, in here network is 10.10.10.0. This is a block is a block of IP address of which it has almost 254 uh, host. And then it, uh, we need to have gateway. The gateway is a point that PC1 and the PC2 they will use to get out of their home network. Also, we have list time. Uh, we are uh, we are required to configure list time, uh, one day, six or six hours and 30, 30 minutes. By default, Huawei use one day as a default list time. So, what is list time? The list time is a time that uh, those PC after getting IP address, uh, it, it will it, uh, the PC will stay with the IP address for uh, for for the long of equal to that uh, list time. So, once the list time expire the PC is required to return back the IP address to the DHCP pool. So if you, you increase the, the, the uh, list time, that means you increase the, uh, the time that a PC will use that IP address. So here we are required to configure uh, one day and the six hours plus 30 minutes at the list time. Also, we are we are needed to exclude IP address range from 10.10.10.200 uh, to 254. Well, what is this sentence mean? This sentence means that if you need, if you don't want to use a certain IP address in a DHCP pool, you have to exclude them so that they cannot be provided by the HCP server to the client. So here, the requirement needs us to uh, to exclude this IP address from the HCP pool. So the configuration is very simple because we are, we are using just a normal, um, just a, just an interface mode. So let's see how we configure it. So for the case of the client, don't configure anything. Go to the DHCP server, uh, run it. Okay, so there we are now we are in this user view. Uh, then light system view to enter to the system view. Uh, system name, name the device. 
the device DHC DHCP server. This is our name. Okay. Now, if you are you are required, maybe if you you are asked to configure DHCP in a global uh, in a global mode, that means you are required to create the IP IP pool. IP pool. The IP pool is a place that we, we are going to configure all of all configurations relating to the DHCP. So for the case of uh, for the case of interface mode, we don't we don't need to create IP pool. We just go to the interface and then configure everything to that interface. Before anything, enable first the HCP. How do we enable the HCP? Say the HCP enable command. It's very simple. Enable. Okay, now the operation may take a few seconds. Please wait for for a moment. Now done. Now enter to the interface. 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 Giga. Zero. Zero, zero. Now this is the interface of the of the of the router. This is interface Giga zero zero zero. Now uh, I entered on the interface uh, view of that of that interface. Under this, you can display this command to see any configuration. There is no configuration. Be, uh, before anything, uh, assign a IP address. The IP address of that interface will be ten point ten point ten point one, and the the red card mask uh, with the subnet mask will be two five five. 255.255.0 now it's done display this you can see okay so you can put also uh, uh, more you can put more uh, more description by just lighting description description let's say this um, you can say uh, DH, DHCP server in interface mode this will be neat this is this yeah now this we say this the uh, this piece server in interface mode also because we need to uh we are uh, we, we are required to we ask to to and uh to configure the hcp in the interface mode so the command that he, uh, will direct you to the configuration you have to say dhcp dhcp select you have to select the model for of configuration select there is three mode there is global mode interface mode and relay mode so uh, the global modes we, we discussed this so now I'm using the interface 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 mode so interface then ASCII there is no command also can press can press int, enter now so after that the display this you can see we have enabled the HCP in, in uh, interface interface mode then after you can say DHCP server because now this interface is, it, it, it is acting like it's a server so if you like the HCP server and uh, put a question mark, mark at the end you can see the list of uh, configuration that you can append after so that you configure the extra extra parameters so as you can see we have DNS list if you need to configure DNS server you can list uh, a list of DNS server here for name resolutions. You, uh, you can write a domain name. You can exclude the IP address as required. You can import uh, the, uh, the configurations command. You can uh, alter the list time as you, uh, we needed. You can put many, many, many parameters. Also, you can create a static, uh, static HCP uh, in interface. Eh? interface interface mode so for, for, for our case we don't need to, uh, to configure this network and the gateway because the interface itself it has IP address and it has subnet uh, it, it has network so the network and the, the IP address it will be uh, a gateway the IP address of the interface will be the gateway for the host and the network segment of that interface it will be the network segment of the host the, what we need to, uh, to alter we are required to say, uh, we are needed to to configure this time to one day six hours and 30 minutes so the configuration will be after DHCP server we can write to lease lease then lease clear first lease then ASCII you can say now day day one after you can say hour hour what six hours then you can you can uh, end up with minute 30 minutes now display this configuration you can see the configuration that you, you have done now so far so the the last thing that you can do you can say DHCP 
the HTTP server exclude the IP address exclude the IP address uh, we are now we, we are required to exclude 10.10.10.200 10 10 to now yeah to the the last block of which is 10.10.10.200 yeah 2254 display this configuration now boom we are done so we excluded the p address from this ip address to this ip address so this command tell us that uh, this the range those, the, this ip address from this uh, to this will not be provided to to any client if the request from the client uh, will be pro, uh, the ip address that will be provided is from z, uh, from 1 from 2 to 199 yeah i think now I'm, I'm done i've enabled it so you can check the configuration quit display current configurations yeah or you can check configuration yeah this is our configuration and we have enabled the, uh, the hcp server as you can see also you can you, you can more you can be more specific you display current configuration then pipe after pipe we can say include the HCP to see configuration now you can see HCP enabled the description and the whatever so that is our configurations so let's say let's see the uh, let's see the output let's see the output go to the PCs now uh, after there you can you can after click the PC you can it can give you this uh, kind of prompt and after you can check either the HCP or static or static that means it allows you to put the IP address manual so we don't we don't this mode we, 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 we need the HCP before anything you can you can go to the command prompt eh, and see if there, there is any configuration uh, happen no uh, if we require if we, we inquire for IP configurations you can you can check there is no IP address no subnet mask no gateway uh, no physical address whatever so after after changing the mode let's, let's, let's change the mode go to basic HCP then apply don't forget to apply and go to the command request yeah boom as you can see right now IP address is 10.10.10.199 10 because 200 up to 254 uh, we have been have been uh, excluded so uh, they will not be provided to the to the client. So the IP address that will be provided uh, uh, from to be from 10101999. So and this is the subnet mask and the gateway is this one and the whatever configuration. The same case. Go to this. Then we'll, uh, go to the IP configuration block. Change it to DHCP. Then apply. Um, then go to the command prompt. IP config whatever now yeah as you can see it has been given 198 198 so this is the ip configure the hcp configurations in interface mode thank you a lot for listening me so it also I, didn't, I i forget to tell you this you can add more configurations you can add more more options in the hcp server either by uh, adding maybe dns list and whatever so that is what we are required to know in the hcp so thank you so much.